bad. My hands down here, and there's. You guys can't hear this, but hear that? That's that shit ain't supposed to be that thing. Now the guy was nice. He said he might not charge me anything, depending on how much work he got to do, because I took it to Amco. He remembers me. But I'm trying to get my fingers down here. He he. Hear that? That's that's not supposed to be that. That's that vibration I be hitting through through here. He got it mounted to the body, right? And it's not even the right way. And also, it's trans mounted too. So that means the linkage that goes to the transmission for the gear selector linkage, he didn't remove the bolts because if if you trans mount it, you ain't supposed to body mount it because it's supposed to move with the trans, right? But when you body mount it, there are two bolts you have to remove and the linkage so the, the, the shifter can move with the body. And you're not supposed to have those 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 uh trans mounted braces on there because you're bracing it back to the body. So there's a lot of mumbo jumbo fucking going on. I thought maybe he had the shifter on backwards. That's not what's going on. Because this is the, the push down system, right? If I, which I did turn this around to just to troubleshoot, if I was to put this on this side and try to go down, I won't be able to go over to go into reverse. That's not what's going on. What's going on with second gear and some other issues is the way he has it trans mounted and body mounted. The linkage is off. And what that basically does, it puts unwanted strain on the uh, selector, the gear selector forks. It puts unwanted strain on there. And so that's why I'm having a hard time sometimes getting going into first, second gear. The car going to gear, but if you don't have that linkage did, you know, right, right, then you're causing the issue with selecting the gears. That's why I'm getting so much vibration. He has it body mounted and trans mounted. Now, if he was to, you know, took this off and just trans mounted, I wouldn't be getting all that MVH to come through the frame and vibrate my whole fucking goddamn shifter. And if he would have just been honest and say, hey, I don't know how to put that shifter in, but we can get the transmission put in. I would have came up there myself, referenced the video, hooked up everything in my goddamn self before they put the transmission in the goddamn car. So the guy pretty much said he's going to probably have to do it for free because he put it in. He remembers me. He put it in. So I'm like, I didn't do anything, man. I don't even have the tools. I'm troubleshooting my shit. And that's the way that they done it. I mean, this piece isn't supposed to be on here. That's the body mount piece. And I was wondering where my piece was at the whole time. It was right here. He body mounted. See that? You see when I put my hand down there? You heard that clunk? It's not even, he couldn't even get it back, you know, secure to where it'd be body mounted because he got it trans mounted. If it's trans mounted, you can't, you can't do nothing. So pretty much the car is going to the shop next week. I'm going to drop it off. I was going to have my Loring Springs stuff put on next week. I have to push that now. This is priority because what's going to ultimately happen is the transmission is going to fucking fail. It's going to end up failing because he put it in wrong. It's been this way for nine months. I thought that maybe it was a break-in period, maybe because I got the RXT clutch in the car. That's not what it is. He didn't know that you're supposed to do one or the other, not both, because you have to. If you trans mount it, there's a way it has to be trans mounted. If you body mount it, there's a way that, you know, when you body mount it, there's certain linkages you have to move out. Your body mount it is two bolts, so the so the transmission, I mean, so the gear and the um, so the uh, shifter and the car can move as one, even though it'll still be linked to the transmission, right? If you trans mount it, you ain't supposed to body mount it to the car because it's supposed to move with the transmission, and then that way you're not putting unwanted strain on the gear selector. Now, if there's any damage to the gear selector, then I'm have to get a new transmission, and then I'm have to let them put it in, and then. That's going to be a free install as well because they put this in. He should have been honest with me and say, hey, no, you know, I don't know how to put that in. Don't do not do something if you don't know how to fuck to put it in. Yeah, if you, I, you know, I, I still going to pay you money. I could come down myself and put this motherfucker together, torque it down the spec, and be cool with that. But this is a no-no. So that's why I'm having so much NBH. It's not supposed to be that loud. Now I'm wondering why. Mine was louder than, than other people that I knew that had the same setup. And I had a guy that's practically my neighbor. He told me, he said, hey, man, 
you might want to make sure that he didn't body mount it and trans mount it because if he did both, that's why you're getting so much feedback and you're having a hard time going in the second and you might be seeing when that reverse pop up. So I'm not going to, and, and that could also means why I'm having, I'm having uh, not so much acceleration problems, but uh, me thinking that I have a boost leap problem. It's not a boost leap. The car going into gear, but the way that this thing is set up, that's causing a lot more vibration to the knock sensors because the transmission runs to the back of the engine, right? Well, it's mounted to the body and the transmission. So when I'm making them hard shifts, if I have, if I don't baby the shift, if I make those hard ass shifts with it being trans mounted and body mounted, guess what's going on to the engine? It's causing a lot of a lot more vibration to the engine. So guess what the knock sensors are going to do? They're going to wig out and they're going to cut timing. If he would have just trans mounted and not body mounted it, you know, I wouldn't be having a gear selector problem. And uh, it probably wouldn't cause that much more vibration, you know, through the whole drive train back to the engine. Right. Because this is body mounted as well. So that's more vibration going back into the engine. If you just think about it, because guess what? The engine sits on your frame in the car. It sits well, not on the frame, but it's mounted. You know, you got engine mounts and shit that runs off the frame. So you add more vibration that can go up through the through the engine mounts into the engine. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to have knock sensor issues. So thank God I, I have a neighbor that that has a Barton and he kind of knew and told me to troubleshoot it and stuff like that. And uh, he doesn't have the same model Mustang. He has a uh, a Gen One um, a Mustang with the um, with the Coyote with the five liter. The uh, what's that? The eleven through thirteen, eleven through fourteen. Yeah, the Gen One, and he's he has a Barton. He has the uh, the first Barton. You know, I got the Hybrid Three, and uh, but it's the same principles apply pretty much. And so, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna put this back together, tighten everything down. It wasn't nothing wrong with the shifter. Uh, I thought maybe I wasn't the one finding second. No, I found my second, the gear selector. You know, the little rod that the uh, the transmission connects to so you can shift to your shift point, the gear selector. It's getting unwanted strain on it because it's body mounted and trans mounted and it's one complete link. And he, I, I know he didn't. Everything, he pretty much hooked up everything. There wasn't no parts left. That's why I didn't get no parts back. He left everything. So it's putting unwanted strain on the, on the gear selector. It's a lot of shit going on. So... Uh, I told him when I bring it up there, I would reference the video on YouTube where he can watch. And so that way he can see exactly what to do. And then that way it shouldn't take him no more than three hours. He can jack this car up, take down the mount. He can lower it down, uh, take off the body mount because I want to trans mount. I don't want to mount to the body. Uh, trans mount it, take the bolts out that it needs to take out. And then if the car is still having an issue with second gear, then he will have to adjust that gear selector rod. He's going to have to either fix that or look at my, my transmission because he should have been honest with me from the get-go. He should have been honest with me from the get-go. That's the thing. I wouldn't I wouldn't have let you install this shifter if you didn't know. I would have came up there before you put the transmission in the car. I would have done this myself, watched the video, went step-by-step, step, done this myself, and then say, hey, now you can put this motherfucker in. Or... I could have had the car towed somewhere else from Amco, just paid a little storage fee, took it to a shop that specializes in putting in transmissions with shifters, and I they they could have done it. And luckily now I do have a shop, but since Amco did this work, they're going to correct this work, and it shouldn't cost me a penny. But if there's any transmission problems, they're going to have to fix it because he didn't tell me he didn't he didn't know. He should have told me you didn't know. So yeah. So if you guys are having a second gear problem and somebody put in your shifter, make sure that they didn't double mount it. Make sure that they took off. If they trans mounted it, it's one size linkage minus the body mount. Minus this. Minus. It's hard to get up in here. See right up in here, down here. This is this. This is the body mount. That's not supposed to be there. If you're going to trans mount. And the trans mount bracket is that bracket that you see. Where my old two sensors are at, there's a little black bracket. It was bag up. It was on there right there. See that black bracket? 
Those are the trans mount brackets. If you trans mount it, then this bracket does need to go. And then the linkage that go to the gear selector is one piece. If you body mount it with this mount and it's another one, like I said, you can't see it, but it's back up in here and it's not even secure all the way. See, you hear? I can, I can move it. It's not even secure all the way because you can't secure it all the way because it's trans mounted. So, but if you body mount it, then there's two bolts in the linkage arm that goes to the gear selector that you have to remove and then remove that bracket as well so this shifter can move independent with the car because it's body mounted. And you can still go through your gears without having the issue. I'm going to link Barton's uh, video explaining more in detail about this down below. So you guys can go watch it. And that's how you do this. That's why I have so much NVH. So now I know. That's why every now and then I get second gear lockups. The gear won't, it won't select properly at high RPM. So pretty much until I get it corrected, I have to drive this damn thing slow. I pretty much have to just take my time until I get to MCO and they look at it. So, excuse me. With that being said, let me get everything back together. I'm going to go in the fucking house, man. Clean my house up and and drink me a beer or something. I'm, I'm, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's, this is the type of shit right here that makes you want to work on your own car if i had the tools here at this house i have tools right but if i would have had the proper jack stands and shit that i need to uh do that then uh, i would have done it myself i would have dropped the transmission the, you know the um the crossbar the transmission bar bracket to lower the transmission down then i would have pretty much had to do what i had to do come up here to the body disconnect this and then disconnect the linkage that's going to the transmission the gear selector and then put it back together, and then they'll be in it. And I and I probably wouldn't have these problems, especially that loud ass vibration. Second and third gear, oh my Jesus, it rumbles hard. And this this right here, it was causing that you can't see it, but this this is why I be hearing a lot too now that I'm that I'm diagnosing my problems. This this be rattling this a lot. So anyway, I'm done ranting. I just want to make this video for those of you that got the Barton. Follow instructions. If Barton didn't have the instructions, they have a video. Follow the video. CJ Pony Parts. I'm going to link their video. They have a very detailed video. Follow the video. All right? It's a simple install. It's very simple. So, hope you guys enjoy. I am out, guys. Peace.